Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building, back with another video guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I drop a new vid. Now let's get into it. All right guys, before we get started, uh, my dog's in here snoring again. So if you hear that, I'm just letting you know uh, she's back here sawing logs. So. <laughs> just wanted to put that disclaimer out. But anyway, Demetrius Andra, guys, uh, finally got a chance to check out some of the highlights from his fight last Thursday on the zone. Uh, he fought Luke Keeler. Uh, he pretty much did what he had to do, got him out of there in the ninth round. Uh, let's face it, Luke Keeler was basically a tomato can and... Uh, you know, like I said, Andrade did what he was supposed to do in that fight. You know, get him out of there. But what, what I really want to talk about was the call out uh, after the fight. Uh, he called out Billy Joe Saunders and he called out Jamal Charlo. Well, they asked him about Jamal Charlo and he mentioned the offer that was sent to Jamal Charlo uh, via Eddie Hearn and that Jamal Charlo them never answered. And he stated that if they were to send an offer over, then they would basically get an answer. You know, basically saying, basically he wants that fight. He wants that smoke. But I think he's really interested in fighting Billy Joe Saunders. And uh, they were supposed to fight when Billy Joe Saunders was at 160. You know, Billy Joe Saunders was a WBO champion, of course. And uh, the fight got canceled because Billy Joe Saunders uh, got popped for having, I think it was Oxifrain in his system. So they stripped him of the title and Andra went on to fight for that vacant title. Now he's the champion at 160, WBO at 160. Billy Joe Saunders moves up to 168, uh, captures the super middleweight uh, WBO title. So now they're both champions one at 160, one at 168. So, so he wants to, he, he wanted to fight Billy Joe at 160. And now he still wants to fight Billy Joe Saunders. He wants to move up to 168 to fight Billy Joe Saunders. Now, I think Billy Joe Saunders is still in the running uh, for the Canelo fight. You know, his name was tossed around. Him, uh, Callum Smith name, and Ryota Morata's name was also thrown around uh, to see who's going to get that golden uh, Canelo ticket. You know, they, he hasn't picked yet, so everybody's kind of waiting on Canelo to see his next move uh, before, you know, I guess, to committing to anything. So if Billy Joe Saunders get picked for that, uh, Andra can kiss that fight goodbye. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't pick Billy Joe Saunders, uh, I think Andra and Billy Joe Saunders need each other, you know, let's face it, you know, fighting guys like Luke Keeler uh, is not going to get somebody like Andra anywhere. Uh, he's too highly skilled of a fighter to be fighting a guy on that level. You know, everybody is going to know the outcome of that. And so I think him and Billy Joe Saunders need each other. You know, I think there's, there's their skills match. You know, they're both good fighters. Like I said before, Billy Joe hasn't looked his greatest at 168, but, you know, with a little bit of extra training, you know, some corrections, he can look like he did at 160. And I, I think it would be a 50-50 uh, fight still at 168. I, I think, you know, if they if they went head up, I, I would be excited about this fight as I was when they were going to fight at 160, so. What do you think, guys? Are you interested in that fight? Uh, who do you have in that fight? Who do you think, you know, takes the fight? I've seen some things in Andra's last fight that he can work on. You know, the loopy, wild punching, you know. He could work on that, leaving himself open a little bit. I think he could work on that. So, I still don't know if they're both on their A game who I would pick. So, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, guys, it's the CMB. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.